So in this video, we're going to be expanding and factorizing quadratics. In our previous video, when we were expanding brackets, we only, we only had a constant term outside the brackets. We never had two brackets next to each other. And when we do have something like this, it's a very, very similar format. You multiply each term in the first bracket with each term in the second bracket as follows. So in the example of x plus two times x plus three, what you do is you first, if you draw lines, it can really help. So you multiply the x's together to give x squared. And now another line back here, x times three is three x. So now x has been multiplied by every term in the other bracket, so we can move on to the next term, two. We get two times x, and finally, two times three, which is six. And you can simplify this by adding three x to two x together to give you x squared plus five x plus six. And that's our answer, that is equal to x plus two times x plus three. Let's do another example. So now we're expanding 3x plus 2 times 2x plus 3. So we're going to write it out. 3x plus 2, 2x plus 3. So let's draw the lines so we don't forget. So the 3x times the 2x, that's equal to 6x squared. And now same one by the second term in the second bracket, plus 9x. So again... This has now been multiplied by both terms in this bracket, so we can move on from this to the 2, starting here. It doesn't, it doesn't matter which order you do it in. 2 times 2x is 4x, and finally, 2 times 3 is 6. So again, we can simplify by adding the 9 and the 4, 9x and the 4x, sorry, to give 6x squared plus 13x plus 6. Now we're asked to expand x plus 4 all squared. So the first thing to notice here, is that you just want to write out what that means. x plus 4 squared is just x plus 4 times x plus 4. And now we do the exact same thing. We draw a little beak, if you like. x times x is just x squared. And now x times 4 is 4x plus another 4x plus 4 times 4, which is 16. This simplifies to x squared plus 4 plus 4x, 4x plus 4x, 8x plus 16. And that is that. So doing this the other way around is a lot more challenging. It's called factorizing. So we're going to go through the method by example. So if we're asked to factorize x squared plus 5x plus 6, what it's asking us to do is to put this in the form of two brackets. So in other words, we want it in this form. Now, because we only have one lot of x squared, we can safely just put x's at the beginning. And because there's only plus signs, we can safely put plus signs next to those x's. When you're doing factorizations like this, what you're aiming for is two numbers that multiply together to give the constant on the end. So two numbers that multiply together to give you six, those same two numbers that add together to give you five. So the way we do this is we write out all just all the factors of six. So the factors of six are we could have one times six or we could have two times three. And what we notice here is that one times six is six, yes, but one plus six is not equal to five. So it can't be this. However, two times three is also six. So that ticks that box. And two plus three is equal to five. So we write them in, two and three. And if we want to check our work here, we just, do, we just expand it to make sure it's the same as this. So x times x is x squared. x times three is three x. x times two is two x. And two times three is six. And this is equal to x squared. Three x plus two x is five x. And that's exactly what we have written up here. So that's correct. So let's do another example. That's the best way to learn this, just doing loads and loads of examples. See, it's very methodical. So x squared plus 8x plus 7. So same as before, factors of 7. Well, luckily in this case, it's, it can only be 7, 7 times 1, right? Because those are our only factors of 7. And quite fortunately, 7 plus 1 
is equal to 8. So that satisfies both criteria. It satisfies the two numbers that multiply together to give us 7, and two numbers that add together to give us the 8. So that means, and because again, there's only plus signs, and there's a 1 in front of the x, we get x plus 7 times x plus 1. And we can check our answer here again. x times x is x squared. x times 1 is x. 7 times x is 7x. 7 times 1 is 7. And this is equal to x squared plus 8x plus 7. Okay, another example here. This one's a bit different because we have minus signs, so we've just got to be aware of that. So because it's still only a 1 in front of the x, we can safely say that it will be x and x. So now let's think of all the factors of minus 3, or I should say the pairs of factors. So minus 3 can be reached by 1 times minus 3, or minus 1 times 3. So these are our pairs, and now all we need to do is think of which of these two add together to give us this number here. Well, 1 plus minus 3 is minus 2. So it's this one here. 1 and minus 3. Because minus 1 plus 3 is 2, and that is not what we want, because we want minus 2. So that's so you just put those in. A 1 and a minus 3. Let's do another example. So we're going to factorise x squared minus 25. Well, this one looks a bit different, because we don't have a term with just an x after it. But it doesn't matter. We can still follow our same procedure. We want two numbers that multiply together to give us this number and add together to give us our number in front of the x, which in this case is 0, because this can just be rewritten x squared plus 0x minus 25. So factors of 25, or the pairs, we could have minus 5 and 5, minus 1 and 25. We could have 1 and minus 25. And so what do we notice here? Well, 1 times minus 25 is minus 25, so it satisfies that. But 1 minus 25 is not 0. The same is true here. However, here, we have that minus 5 times 5 is minus 25. And minus 5 plus 5 is 0. So this is the one that satisfies our conditions. Therefore, we have x minus 5 and x plus 5. And I'll just show you how this works. Again, x squared plus 5x, minus 5x, minus 25. And here, 5x minus 5x cancels. This is just equal to x squared minus 25. So what this is known as, or this is known as, is the difference of two squares, because it's one square number minus another square number, right? It's just x squared minus 5 squared. And since these are both square numbers, and one's being subtracted from the other, it's simply just the difference of two squares. So here we're asked to factorise 9m squared minus 25. A bit different here, we have a number in front of the squared term, but what we can notice is this looks awfully similar to just x squared plus 25. So we can almost immediately tell that it's going to be something minus 5, something plus 5. So now we just need to think, how can we get our 9 in front of the m squared? Well, if we just put a 3 instead of just a singular m, now when we multiply it out, we get 3m three, three times 3m three is 9m squared, plus 15m, which is there, minus 15m, minus 25. 15m minus 15m is 0. So this just leaves us with 9m squared minus 25 which is what we had. So that concludes this video of a kind of introduction to expanding and factorising. Yeah, thank you for watching.